Welcome to David and Keithan, the Haunted Lighthouse. Let's play it. Let's do it. Man, I think a storm is coming. It's the perfect weather for laying under a blanket and eating beef lo mein. I could go for some beef lo mein, actually. That, I usually prefer chicken, but I'll take beef lo mein. Don't be so lazy. It's the perfect time to seek adventure. We can adventure and lo mein it up. Adventure? Have you seen the weather outside? I can see little rain coming out through the window. Oh! Oh! The weather's fine. Oh, kaboom. Raindrops here and there. A couple of raindrops. Did you hear that thunder? Which one are you, Keithan? You look like a Keithan. Man, those point and click games really messed with your head. But I'll tell you what. You want an adventure? I'll get you an adventure. Oh, that sounds ominous and vaguely threatening. Is that it? That's the story? All right, well, let's just start collecting items. I guess That's I've got a pig. Bank. We may have some money in it. Too bad I can't lift it. It's glued to the table. Why is it glued to the table? There's also a radio That's here. That's radio scanner. We never use it anymore. 15 to central. Oh, hey, yeah, what's up, 15? Yeah, 15 is central here. I have an escape cow on Main Street. I'm out on a chase. Uh, pursue the cow and let me know if, uh, uh, it escapes. What, are we living, are we in a trailer? Is that what we're in? Is there, there's no door on this doorway. It, it, there's no door. That red light turns on if someone trespasses onto our property. You have, like, sensors outside? Wait, what living conditions? There's nothing wrong with being in a trailer. But I think we're in a trailer or maybe a camper? And apparently we have a sensor for intruders outside. I just, I just have questions. Where do we live? Who are you two? We built this arc arcade machine ourselves. Did you? Now's not a good time to play. I think any time's a good time to play video games. So what kind of adventure are you looking for? Yeah, man, what kind of adventure are we about to get up to? It's a stormy day. I think something spooky is fitting. I'm on my way out to find the spookiest adventure ever. I guess I'm going outside, I guess. Close the door. I don't want rain getting inside. Oh, well, the door was open earlier and you didn't care. Oh, is there something over here? We don't have a toolbox, so the hole in the tree looks like a reasonable place to keep it. I've got a hammer and a tree. I got my tree hammer. Okay, let's keep going down the road and maybe to the bus stop. Oh. The is the public library. The gossipy librarian knows everything. If there's an adventure somewhere, she'll know about it. Oh, this is our secret headquarters. We don't live here, I guess. Maybe it's a secret. It's a secret headquarters. Whoa, dude, what's up with your eye? Do you have some cheap tabloids with articles about UFOs and gold treasures? No, I only have regular newspapers. <laughs> I see. Let me look at some headlines. Hurry up, kid. There's a storm coming, and I want to close and head back home. What's that? The lighthouse ghost is back? Lighthouse ghost? It's not a library. You must buy it to read it. I, I don't have money, but I'll be back with money real soon. I don't have any money. I have a hammer. I can beat you with a hammer until you give it to me. Hurry up. I know that sounds violent, but desperate times call for desperate measures. The library is closed. It should open pretty soon. He's trying to close up shop. I don't think the public library is going to open anytime soon. I don't think it's going to happen. I guess we got to go get some money. Oh, I've got my piggy yeah. bank. Oh, I've got a piggy bank and my hammer. Cha -ching. Ah, there we go. I forgot about the there piggy bank. Five bucks in here. I was sure we had at least a hundred. That, that would have been a lot of money to have in that itty bitty piggy yeah, bank. I donated $95 to a point and click game startup. Here's five bucks. Great. Here's your paper. Now let me tell you the whole story. Oh, I just need to read the paper. You don't have to tell me the story. See, I was the last light. All right, here we go. Before the city closed it in 2006. With time, I got used to the things I saw there. Flickering lights, spooky and unexplainable noises. A sudden chill from time to time. There's an urban legend about one of the lighthouse keepers who died there. They say he never left the place. Either way, the lighthouse is abandoned since 2006, and a week ago, people started seeing weird things around there. They believe the lighthouse ghost is back. That's a hell of a mystery. Thank you, sir. Oh, you're standing up. Hey, Keithan. Well, you're making me nervous. Okay, you wanted scary adventure, and I got it. The abandoned lighthouse. Read the paper. Read the paper, man. Read it yourself. I had a fun uh, uh, sailor man tell me the story, but I'm going to make you read it. Whoa, the lighthouse ghost? There's an urban legend about a ghost haunting the old lighthouse. Some say it's the main reason that the lighthouse has been abandoned since 2006. It's a much more reasonable explanation, rather than the expense of maintenance and use of modern electric navigation systems making the lighthouse useless. Yeah, that's a bunch of mumbo jumbo, if you ask me. It's like the newspaper man closed early. Yeah, he said he was gonna do that. Yeah, only insane people would go outside in weather like this. 
Da 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 da. Oh, okay. At least the library's open. What is this? Hey, is it, isn't that? that the Turkish flag? You look like a well-learned, educated man. Is there any chance you know anything about the town's lighthouse? No, sorry. I'm not from around here. I'm just here on a visit. My name is Il Casavos. Collect rare items such as this flag right here. It dates back to 1936. Does it? Okay, that's neat. If we neat. stumble upon something rare, we'll notify you. Research information recommendations. Hello, Give me a Celia. research information recommendation, please, Celia. I'm reading a book. I see that's that. My... All you need to know about ghosts. That's probably a good place to start, if I had to guess. Great recipes for a club sandwich. Now we're talking! We need 12 slices of white bread. Are we making one sandwich or... Like six. Ooh, Pepper's Ghost. Oh, that's a ghost. That's a ghost. Pepper's Ghost is an illusion technique used in theater and amusement parks. The basic trick involves a stage that is specially arranged into two rooms, one that people can see into and a second that is hidden to the side, the blue room. A plate of glass is placed somewhere in the main room at an angle that reflects the view of the blue room towards the audience. It's actually a really cool effect. Um, reflecting glass. Ooh, 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 they're into it. Ah, I bet that was information we needed to know. We need to go get some reflective glass. Can I leave here now? We got other places to explore, like the Bell Rock Historical Society. That might be a good place to go. Oh, there's something in the trash. Someone threw this ugly clock in the trash. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Dope, I'll take a clock. I'll put it on my, on my uh, bed table. Who are you? Hello, and welcome to Bell Rock Historical Society. Well, hello there, friend. How much is a ticket? Twenty dollars. I do not you have that. For free if you live in Bell Rock, but you'll have to show your residency cards. I hell, I don't have that either. Ooh, I can go up. Boom, jeez, you got me. You got me real good just now. Kaboom. Ooh, we got some uh, cutters, some like wire, some bolt cutters rather. Okay, okay, I got some bolt cutters. That phone works on credit card only. It works on credit card only. A pay phone, a pay phone that works on credit card only. Really? All right. I've used Good pay phones before. Good afternoon, gentlemen. How may I help you? Good afternoon. <laughs> We're just browsing. Thanks. All right. Uh, can we pick up some of uh, some of this stuff? That's Van Gogh. No, that's a painting. It's Wheatfield with cypresses by Van Gogh. Yes, that is the original painting by Vincent Van Gogh. Wait, that's the original one and not a print? You realize that's worth millions of dollars, right? And you just have it in your shack here, right? The original painting is located at the Crawler Moller Museum in the Netherlands. You think too much, kid. You're trying to swindle me. It's a Texas flag. This is the Texas flag. The one that was introduced to the Congress of the Republic of Texas on December 28, 1838. It might come in handy. Can I buy it? Do we need that flag? I'm afraid the price is too high. Even for gentlemen such as yourselves. Yeah, I have no money. I do have a clock. Want to trade the flag for this clock? <laughs> Maybe, can we convince him it's a historical clock? It's the clock. It's not just any clock. It is the clock. Hmm, I can't find my glasses, so I can't examine the clock. Are you sure it's an antique? It's very antique. No, but we found it in the trash, so I'm pretty sure it's not new. You don't tell him that. David, David, you, you moron. All right, let's trade. Oh, no, he's into it? Oh, he's okay with that? Never mind. Oh, no, see, now it looks really windy. Now it looks windy as heck. We should have listened to the weatherman. Yeah, he said it's going to be a bright day with a chance of rain and perhaps fog, ice, snow, and a hurricane. That's a, that's, it's going to be a bright day with a chance of hurricane. I love it. I might meet Goliath on the way. I better take it with us. Haha, ha, cause your name's David. David Goliath. It's a it's a rock. Ah ha ha ha. Ah. We want to get past this fence. We'll have to break its lock. Oh, we can do that. I've got a bolt cutter. See, da 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 da. I am so smart. Let's go fight the it's ghost. Oh, like with our fists. Let's go smash the door work. with our rock. Do we have to go get a key? We might need to go get a key. Go back inside. Would you like this antique flag? This is the actual flag that was introduced to the Congress of the Republic of Texas on December 28th, 1838. Or so the story goes. Boom. That's amazing. This thing is priceless. It's the actual original flag, like for realsies? Yeah, but since we're so nice, you can have it. All right, but also maybe for like maybe 20 bucks or something so that we can get into the museum. Thanks. 
but I must give you something in return. It's like 20 bucks each, right? So like 40 bucks maybe? I have this old bagpipe you might be interested in. I'm interested in like 40 bucks. Sure, thanks. I've got a bagpipe now. What am I going to do with it? I don't know. I'll just put it in my pocket. Actually, I do have a bag. I do have a I do have a handbag that I might be able to put this bag pipe into. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but I've actually got a bag very similar to that. Do I have it? There. Now I have now I have an adventuring bag as well, David. Now we're both adventurers. I used to be an adventurer like you, and then I got this bag. If only I, I could just conjure, conjure a spell. spell. Kapow! Hocus, hocus, hocus! Can I distract the bell rock lady with this rock? Get it? Bell rock? Rock? Rock your sock? Rock and boppers? Sock and boppers, sock and boppers. More fun than a pillow fight. Can I give the bagpipes to you? It's not my thing, but I'm sure Keepin would love to play it. Keepin would love to play the bagpipes? It's a good idea, but not here. We should try it someplace else. Where? Okay, okay, where should we try it? Where should we try the bagpipes? I can't think of anything else that we'd want to smack. These are residency cards. Oh my <laughs> god, this cabinet could be opened the whole time. There were residency cards and oh my, oh, here we go. I knew there has to be an item that we hadn't collected yet. There had to have been. Cool, I think we've hit the jackpot. There's a section here dedicated to the lighthouse architect. Art Vandalay. Art Vandalay? That's like art vandalism. Shh, you are disturbing me, punk kids. Oh, you think this is disturbance? Oh, it gets worse. It gets so much worse. And have you banned for life? You're banned, old man. Yeah, what now? I'll report you. For being old. It's art vandalism. Can I take that key? Yoink. Yoink. Oh, uh, the dude. This mannequin is kind of scary. Spooky, scary mannequin staring into your soul. Key to the lighthouse? Fixed, which is pretty logical. It's the same lock from the day the lighthouse was built. Oh my gosh. It's an old this lock. This is creepy. We should have gone to visit Uncle Jim instead. Who's Uncle Jim? There's a stick down here. That will replace Uncle Jim in our hearts. Welcome to the Bell Rock. Come and join us on the other side. Just go up the stairs and live with us forever. <laughs> Creepo, is that you? A spooky, a spooky sound. What is this? There's a pit behind the railing. <laughs> Why? I can't see very well because of the dim light, but I feel like something is reflecting from the wall. Why is there a pit? Can I rock it? No re. Rock you like a hurricane. Don't oh. go up there. The evil spirits will kill you. They want you to join them on the other side. Don't do the same mistake I did. So this is clearly that um that carnival dummy trick thing that we learned where with the projection. That's what that light is. We can see it's like a light or projector. Ghost. There's no way we're getting up these stairs. We better get out of here fast. No, it's fake. It's fake. It's, it's Scooby-Doo nonsense. You know? See? Pepper's ghost. This is what it is. Now I'm not going to do anything with that information. You know, well, I think we need to throw that rock down the pit and break the glass. There you go. There, see what I tell you. Of course. It's Pepper's ghost effect. We read about it in the library. See, that's what I was saying. I suspect you just wanted to know how deep the pit is. Well, that too. No more ghosts, then I guess we're going upstairs. Shh. Stay oh! Are. Fake credit card generator 2000! <laughs> no one will find us here. The town folks are so stupid and superstitious. They're sure this place is haunted. They are so scared of ghosts. That's why no one will come here. Plus, we set the ghost below to scare them. Just in case someone does come in. I'm glad you guys are just rehearsing your entire plan in front of me for no reason. You guys, like, just all day, just talk about this. Okay, let's hurry up. We need to produce more fake credit cards. There's like a wallet right there. Can I, can I reach it? It's a wallet, but we better not go out there to take it. Can I reach it with a stick, with a cane? Yoink, that's mine now. Thank you very much. I think we're going to use that money to maybe uh, call the police or something, just like as a tip or something. Can I use this credit card? I'm pretty sure it's a real credit card. Oh, 
It's a real visor. It's got a Z. Credit card works. We can now make calls. I assume, uh, in case of emergency, 911. I assume just 911, right? We know the whereabouts of two dangerous criminals. They're in the old lighthouse. Ask them if there's a reward. <laughs> Is there a reward? If they're convicted, we'll get donuts. Oh, donuts. I'm in. I'm okay with this. It's a good thing those teenagers got you. State police has been looking for you for two weeks. I hate teenagers. And then that stupid meddling dog. Wait, there's no dog. No crooks or villains will ever break even once they encounter David and Keithan. How long have you been sitting on that? Are you proud of that? You must be real proud of that. I see your smug face. You're so proud of that one. 